Shalom, shalom. This is your boy, Yael Ezra Ben Levy, coming back to you again with another quick video. Um, I just want to make this perfectly clear. Because, um, yet still, there are some people that are still confused for some reason. I thought I made it perfectly clear. I thought I made it as plain as can be. I am not a Christian. I am not messianic. And when I say messianic, I'm still saying a Christian. I am a Yah only worshiper. I worship Yah. He is our Father. He is our God. He is our King. He is our Lord. He's our healer. He's our redeemer. I worship him. Now, I am an Israelite that believe in a messianic age and believe that one day we will have a king restored to us. So I am messianic, but I am not messianic like many of my people are because they believe the Christ from the New Testament is the Christ that they've been waiting on. So that's why I had to let you know I'm, I'm not a messianic like that. Now, the, mess, the Messiah that I believe will come one day, I'm just going to be honest. I am not waiting on him. Um... What I am striving to do is simply to serve my God to the best of my ability. I am striving to keep Torah better and better every day. I am striving to be a tool in the hand of the Creator and be instrumental in some capacity in waking our people up and sparking a flame of um, questions in their mind because that's where my life turned is when I started questioning what I believed when I was a Christian. As I said before, some of y'all know my testimony. I was an ordained apostle within the Christian church. I had 20 plus years in the church. I was an ordained minister. I was an ordained apostle. And I know with some Christians and Messianics here that they say, well, you was never really a Christian because you left. Well, you got you had the right to your opinion, but um, believe you me, the people that knew me when I was a Christian, they knew I was all in it. I, I gave 110% to the cause. I believed it 100%. There was no waving, wavering in me until taking an honest look at scriptures and looking at scripture in context I realized a lot of things just was not lining up when I looked at scriptures contextually not looking at some not looking at a, a book that had 10 chapters in it 500 verses but for some reason, I looked at one chapter and half a verse out of that chapter and said, yeah, that right there is talking about um, Jesus. But when I looked at it contextual in context, plain as day, it wasn't talking about him. So when I saw things like that, I said, I, I have to challenge what I believe. I have to see. Can I find my faith solely in the Hebrew scriptures? Because we have to remember the early church had no gospels. The early church only had the Tanakh. So I wanted to see the Hebrew scriptures, the holy, the holy books. So I wanted to see, could I find my faith solely in the Tanakh? Without twisting scriptures, without manipulating the text. To make it say what I wanted to say. 
and I couldn't. And when I couldn't, I didn't try to hold on to it for dear life because I couldn't. I had to be honest and truthful because if I'm going to say the word of Yah is eternal, I have to go on the word of Yah. And it was through the word of Yah, looking at where Yah speaks and what Yah said, what the prophet said in context, I realized that that which I believe in was false. And I denounced Christianity. I denounced Jesus as the Mashiach. And I've been it been that way now for 10 years. Yet for some reason, people still think they could convert me back. People still think, I don't, I don't know what they think. Some people are just determined that they're going to win me back to Christ, to their Christ, to their Mashiach. And... I thought I've been I thought I've been very clear. I'm not going back. When when I left, there was no wave. I would I did not waver. I did I did not have moments of doubt when I left. I did not have a what if I'm wrong moment. I had none of that. I made a decision and I felt the weight of the world leave me. Once I made a decision to walk with Yah only and to walk with Yah, you have to observe his Torah. You have to keep the law, statutes and commandments of Yehovah. I, I honor the Sabbath. Um, and I understand you have to follow the dietary laws. You have to keep that which Yehovah gave to our ancestors to keep. He gave it to them, which means he gave it to us as well. So my brothers and my sisters, I don't know what you're thinking. I don't know what you're hoping, but don't try to convert me. I'm not going back to Christianity. So I just don't know what to say about that. I, I hope I made myself perfectly clear. I, I don't hate Christians. I don't hate Messianics, but I'm going to be honest. I hate your belief. I hate it. I despise it. But I do not hate those that believe in it. I don't. I just adamantly disagree with that which they believe. Because I believe it is a drug. It is a lethal drug in our community. And I believe it is draining and zapping of our people of life because we have turned away from serving Yehovah solely. And we have combined him, we have coupled him with our great king. Some people have walked away from keeping the commandments all together because they believe Jesus paid it all. Well, he did it so they don't have to. Nowhere is that kind of anything found in the in the Bible that somebody's going to keep the Torah for us so we don't have to. So my brothers and my sisters, I hope I made myself perfectly clear. I am Yah only. I have a king. He's eternal. I have a healer, a healer. He's eternal. I have a redeemer. He's eternal. He is God, and besides him, there is no other. Now, of course, my God could raise up somebody, be instrumental in our life as a people. But we know it is by Yehoah that things will be accomplished. Regardless who's at the um, forefront or who's in the back. When Yehovah raise up somebody to do something, it's by Yehovah's power that things will get done. 
So don't be fooled. So I hope I, I made myself perfectly clear. It's your boy, Yael. I hope I don't have to speak on this again. Out.